As training camp and preseason unfold, teams are keenly aware of their weaknesses and areas needing reinforcement. For the Baltimore Ravens, the edge rusher position is under scrutiny, with experts suggesting potential solutions. One name that has surfaced as a possible fix is a familiar face, whose past contributions and current availability could make a significant impact on the Ravens' defense. Training camp and preseason do a good job, for most teams, of highlighting areas of concern where improvement could be necessary. For the Baltimore Ravens, their biggest weakness could be at the edge rusher position, according to one analyst. And he believes a former Raven DE Yannick Ngaku could help provide reinforcements and stability to that spot. Bleacher reports Alex Ballantyne evaluated the Ravens' need at edge rusher in his article prioritizing every roster's biggest weaknesses before 2024 preseason, and how it is an unfamiliar need for the team. Ballantyne wrote, The Ravens' current roster holes are ones we are used to seeing from the franchise. He listed Ngaku as an ad-now fix for the team to solidify a pass rush that had the most sacks in the league in 2023. Ngaku is still looking for a deal which could benefit the Ravens as the veteran could probably come cheap. The Ravens' edge rush was one of the best in the NFL during the 2023 season largely due to Jade V and Clowney's resurgence season. Clowney is now gone to the Carolina Panthers, leaving general manager Eric DaCosta in a difficult spot. Clowney was a last-minute addition at the end of training camp, so DaCosta has solved this issue before. Ballantyne wrote, Yannick Ngaku could have a similar impact as a late signing this year. Additionally, Ngaku is familiar with Baltimore, as he was acquired in a mid-season trade during the 2020 season. The 29-year-old doesn't offer much help against the run, but he's still an effective pass rush specialist, Ballantyne explained. Defensive coordinator Zach Orr would be happy to focus on unleashing Ngaku towards opposing quarterback. While Ngaku is not young, he is not exactly old either at 29 years old. Drafted in the third round of the 2016 draft by the Jacksonville Jaguars, Ngaku has had a knack for rushing the quarterback for a majority of his career. In his four seasons with the Jaguars, he had 37.5 sacks and 85 QB hits. His most successful season was his second year when he was elected to a Pro Bowl and had 12.0 sacks. Over the last four seasons he has turned into a bit of a mercenary in the edge rush market as he has joined the Minnesota Vikings, Ravens, Las Vegas Raiders, Indianapolis Colts, and Chicago Bears. Ngaka's brief stint with the Ravens saw him get to the quarterback three times in nine games. In seven of his eight seasons he has had at least 8.0 sacks, with the outlier occurring in 2023 as a member of the Bears. Ngaku played along the interior with the Bears, so that could explain the anomaly. In 129 total games, the veteran has 69.0 sacks and put up 10.0 sacks in 2021 and 9.5 sacks in 2022. If Ngaku can bring a majority of that output to the 2024 Ravens, then the team could repeat their 2023 success. The Ravens' need along the position became even more necessary with the news about second-year player D.E. Malakam. On Tuesday, July 30th, the Ravens placed him on the injured reserve with what they were calling a knee injury, but no further news was available at that point. Unfortunately, the team confirmed today that it was a torn ACL the promising D.E. suffered. Head coach John Harbaugh spoke to reporters and said, he has a clean ACL tear. While coaches and fans already knew his season was over, it now looks like the undrafted free agent will be facing an uphill climb for a second year in a row as he looks to return in 2025. Ham was expected to compete with David Ohabo and Ode Foa for one of the OLB positions so bringing in Gaku could lessen the blow of losing Ham. Ballantyne wrote, Bringing him in would alleviate the pressure on David Ohabo and Ode Foa to have breakout seasons. With the Ravens facing a critical need at edge rusher and the recent unfortunate injury to a promising player, the suggestion of bringing back this veteran pass rush specialist has sparked interest. His experience and proven track record could be just what the team needs to bolster their defense and maintain their competitive edge in the upcoming season.